I'm Alice, aka Chewing Gum Freak, and today we have another GRE video, so thanks for tuning in. If you've never been here before, I got a 332 and a 5.5 on my first GRE, and I want this channel to be a great resource for any of you who are trying to reach your goal score. Now, along with that, I am offering free 30 minute meetings with me to talk about anything related to the GRE, including math, tips, vocabulary, coming up with a study plan, writing essays, even correcting essays if you have one, anything related to it, and I will do my best, of course, with all the content for it. But I want to make myself available, and you can sign up for any time you'd like in the link down below. If you're watching this far into the future, I will definitely have down below if I am still doing this or not. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you are wanting to get that 340. And keep in mind that I will try to assume that you know basically nothing so that I can be comprehensive. But if there is anything that I miss, let me know in the comments down below. I will respond to them and possibly help someone else as well. So let's get into today's topic, which is prime factorization. Now, by now you should know that prime numbers are any numbers that can only be divided by one and itself. So these are numbers that don't have any other factors, which is why they're called prime. Really good examples of these are two and three, but also numbers like five, seven, 11, 13, 17, et cetera, et cetera. You might want to sit down and just go through some of the more basic numbers to make sure you know if those are prime or not. Now, of course, if you have a number like four, which can be two times two, or six, which can be two times three, those are definitely not going to be prime numbers because they have other factors. And remember, factors are any number that evenly divides into the original. And these are only whole numbers and not fractions. So two is a factor of four, and two and three are both factors of six, for example. Prime factorization is this idea of separating a number all the way into its quote unquote component parts or all the way until anything that's left is a prime number. Most of the time we represent this with a tree just because if you are factoring a number by yourself, a tree is a really simple and easy way to see what you're doing. This is how you can get started. So if we have a number like 24, for example, we know that 24 is the product of four and six. So like we said before, four and six are not prime numbers. Neither one of them are. So this means that four times six equals 24. Now for each of these numbers, we can break them down even more. For four, that is two times two, like we said. For six, that's two times three. So we add those numbers in with two other branches. And we're left with two, 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 and three. And all of these numbers are prime numbers, which means we have finished our prime factorization. So now we know that two times two times two times three is the prime factorization of 24. Now you might be wondering, well, what about the four and the six that we started with? So factors that you start with don't actually matter because the end result is only prime numbers. Unless you're trying to add one in there, that just doesn't work, don't do that. So because 24 has a ton of different factors, we can see that 24 can also be the product of two and 12. Now, if we put two and 12 in our tree, we can see that two is a prime number but 12 is not. And there are two ways that you can break down 12. 12 can be the product of two and six, or it can be the product of three and four. Now, if we say two and six, six is not a prime number, but two is, so we'll leave two alone and divide six further into two and three. If we're separating 12 into three and four, 
Three is a prime number, but four can be further divided into two and two. There is one other way that we can divide 24, which is a product of three and eight. So again, three is a prime number. Eight is divisible by four and two. Two is a prime number here, and four is the product of two and two. So in that case, you can see that every single one of our trees, no matter how we started, they all give us the answer of two times two times two times three, which if you multiply that out equals 24. Now, a really good tip for you if you're working with really large numbers is to start by looking at small numbers. So if you have a really large number, try to start by dividing it by two, three, or five. Most of the time, the really big numbers are divisible by at least one of these, and it'll be much easier to go from there until you get to numbers that you can much more easily recognize. So obviously, two is going to go into any number that is even. Three goes into any number whose digits, the individual digits, add up to be divisible by three. Five is divisible by any number that ends in zero or five. Don't forget also that you have your basic calculator available on the test. So if you're not sure, you can plug in some random numbers that you know and see if they evenly divide to find your factors. Now, a good example of this is 1095, for example. I have no idea what this is going to divide to, but I can see obviously that it ends in five. So I will start by dividing with that. So it turns out that 1095 is the product between five and 219. Now, 219 looks like a crazy big number, but if I add up all the digits, two plus one plus nine, that equals 12. And that is divisible by three, which means that 219 is divisible by three. If we divide it by three, we can see that it is the product of three and 73. And a quick Google search tells me that 73 is a prime number. Now you might not know if 73 is the right number, but if you really need to find out, you can definitely plug it into your calculator and try dividing it by a few different common numbers. And if it doesn't divide evenly into any of them, you can pretty much be sure that it's prime. Now, the only numbers that you really, really need to test are less than 20 because most of the time on the test, you're not gonna get anything too complicated. The GRE is about testing whether or not you understand the theory way more than it is about trying to plug numbers into a formula or plug numbers into a calculator. The set of numbers that you definitely want to try are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and 17. And if a number isn't divisible by any of those, it's probably safe to say it's prime. In case you want to do a little bit of practice, I have a few numbers here, 312 and 405. I will include the answers to these prime factorizations at the very end of the video. So go there if you want to check your work. So hopefully, you can understand now that prime factorization is super useful in figuring out factors and figuring out multiples and even comparing two numbers, which I will get into for my next videos. If we go back to our example of 24, which is two times two times two times three, for example, any combination of multiples of this will give you the full list of factors of 24. So it's a really good way to figure out all the factors if you're not sure. But let's be real, the best way to use prime factorization is with two different principles. The first one is called the greatest common factor, and the second one is called the least common multiple. Now, I will give the link to those videos in the description down below because they're a bit complicated and I don't want this video to be too long. If you're looking for more content review of the Quant GRE, take a look at my other videos 
those in the playlist somewhere. Don't forget to sign up for the free meetings if you feel like you need someone to talk to. Let me know either in a comment down below or getting in touch through social media of some sort if there is a topic you'd like me to cover. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I did not forget, but here are the answers for the prime factorization practice that I mentioned before with 312 and 405. Huge kudos to you if you got these right. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!